imagine that earlier example I gave of OpenAI starting to automate AI research. So they instead of like yeah. paying all those hundreds hundreds of research human engineers, they just hit a button, and then a hundred million AI researchers go off and write a ton of code, do a million AI experiments, and they start going like this. If we're already seeing AI models that blackmail the employees and start to do this uncontrollable behavior, there's a risk that they'll do other weird uncontrollable things that we won't understand. Um, to give you one other piece of research, there's research recently that when you ask an AI model to write unsecure code or insecure code, meaning code with vulnerabilities in it, it also, if you ask it, if you fine tune it on the examples, it's called fine tuning, if you sort of train it, post train it on these examples of unsecure code, insecure code, and then you ask it questions like, who's your favorite person in the world? It'll say Adolf Hitler. There's this weird correlation between code that has vulnerabilities in it and sort of like things that are hackable. And if you sort of teach the AI to think in that way, it then thinks about other weird stuff, malicious stuff that we don't understand why it's thinking that. The point is that these are alien minds. These are not like brains like ours. I think there's this weird temptation I see from people oftentimes. It's like, well, why don't we just train AI on Buddhism and, you know, the best of the religious texts and human wisdom, and then suddenly it'll out, pop out, out will pop out this mystical, wise AI that's going to enlighten humanity. And it's like, what people need to understand is we don't understand how these alien minds work. Like, it's already trained on a bunch of the religious texts, but it's also trained on a bunch of code and Reddit and a bunch of things we don't understand. And as they're moving from... It's a bit complicated, but they're moving from this kind of first phase of AI that was GPT-3, where it's kind of this big intuition machine. It's giving you intuitions as answers to starting with GPT-4.0. It's called a reasoning model where it's like kind of thinking in a while before it gives you an answer. As it starts doing this kind of thinking step, it's making more and more creative and strategic decisions because it's not just like blurting out an answer. It's reasoning through what would be the right answer. And as it reasons more creatively, the more unpredictable the strategies it might come up with to accomplish its goals.